Today we continue the Carolina Panthers franchise. We're on the road as the Panthers take on the undefeated San Francisco 49ers. The Panthers were hoping to stay undefeated last week but were knocked off by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This week they have another very tough matchup against one of the last remaining unbeaten teams in the NFL. We are set for action here in week seven as Andy Lee approaches and we're underway. Backing up into his end zone is Fozzie Whitaker and he takes it out. Across the 10, Fozzie breaks a tackle but can't get to the 20. He gets to the 17 and the Panthers offense takes the field. Last week was all about the pass as Tampa Bay stifled our running game. For him for the first time today and Cam is pressured by Alden Smith and the throw is incomplete. The pass rush was a big problem last week. Now Cam on third down. Hit as he throws but finds Lance Adams downfield. Nice touch on that throw from Cam Newton. 22 yards. Cam also had some fantastic throws last week. Now here's Jonathan Stewart on the carry. Ball came out. And the 49ers have recovered. Turning over Carolina on their first drive. Last week Stewart had the costly fumble late in the fourth quarter. And now here he is again to open the game giving the 49ers a short field. This is an offense that loves to run the football. Offset eye formation, and they run it on their first play. Frank Gore to the right and brought down by Thomas Davis, the leading tackler on defense. Now from the shotgun, it's a screen. Gore on the catch, has some room and blocks. Inside the 20, Gore still running, and he's finally caught inside the five. 37 yards on the screen, and a scoring threat quickly. From a stack formation, first and goal. Kaepernick throws, and it's a touchdown to Vance McDonald. No Vernon Davis today, but his backup has scored the first points. 7-0 49ers. This is not the start the Panthers wanted. D'Angelo Williams now in the game as he meets Navarro Bowman, and no gain on the play. The Panthers go empty. Jonathan Stewart's at receiver, and it's a screen his way, but he's bottled up immediately this time by Patrick Willis. Can the Panthers get out of this hole on third and 14? Cam with time, and an open man, Greg Olson. First down across the 35. Big conversion here for Carolina. Olson had 12 catches in last week's game. Now Cam to the air again. Hit as he throws, but the pass is caught. This is Carlton Sanders, undrafted receiver, was picked up last week. Third and two, and Cam keeps. Running right, but San Francisco's all over it. Bowman on the stop, and it forces fourth down. Niners have it again this time from their own 20 as they start the drive with a Gore handoff. Broke a tackle from Tillman and brought down by Charles Woodson. Gore is the lone back. He lines up offset. Handoff inside and Gore still on his feet. Fighting forward. It looked like Keekley had him. He had him all wrapped up but Gore powered through. Look at this determined run by Frank Gore. At their own 36-yard line, first down, Gore again, this time with running room. Broken tackle once more, and nears the 50-yard line. Some good running after contact already. They stick with Frank Gore, running left, but Keekley this time makes the play in the open field. Two receivers left, including Crabtree in the slot, and this time it's a keeper, Kaepernick with a lot of room. Hit by Roman Harper and spins down inside the 35-yard line. But so far, this running game is off to a great start. Play action with Kaepernick. And he throws off balance. Cut first down, Michael Crabtree. What a throw by Colin Kaepernick. In the red zone for the second time. And a delayed give. It's Gore. And Keekley brings him down after a very short gain. A single high safety look for Carolina. On third and seven, Kaepernick steps up, dumps it off, and Denario Alexander is wrapped up by Melvin White. That forces fourth down. Down by 10, can the Panthers get something going? Cam back to pass, and he's hit again! Pass is incomplete, luckily not intercepted. We'll see this again. Amini Silatolo just gets clubbed out of the way by Bryant. There's not much Cam can do there. Third and 10 from the 16. Cam airs it out and completes. First down, Kelvin Benjamin to the 30 yard line. Operating from a three wide formation on first and 10. A little swing screen out to Williams, who is hit by Patrick Willis. A loss on the play of four. Too many plays going backwards. Now, third and 14. Cam throws, completes again. First down to Lance Adams. I want to see Adams make more plays in the intermediate game, and so far today he is. Williams on the ground on first and 10. A good run here close to the marker. 
and it looks like he came up short. Spreading the field on second and one. Cam off the fake. Throws downfield. There's Olsen. First down inside the 30-yard line of San Francisco. D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart join Cam in the backfield. It's a sweep for Stewart who hangs on to the football and maybe got two on this carry. Again from a split shotgun. Second and seven. Cam pressure but has a wide open man. Greg Olsen again. Inside the five and into the end zone. Touchdown Panthers. This is the drive they needed. After a very disappointing start, the Panthers go 10 plays and make it 10 to seven. San Francisco ball hands off to Gore who once again meets Luke Keekley and Luke wins this battle, loss of three. Trips left on second and long, it's Gore again. Tries to spin, can't break the tackle from Harper but wrestles his way for a gain of four. Big spot here for the Panthers defense, third and nine. Kaepernick dumps it off, it's Alexander. He's close to the marker and ruled short, fourth down. Now the Panthers are starting to take control. 7-13 to go in the second quarter as Cam is hit again by Alden Smith and the throw is incomplete. Cam has faced a lot of pressure already in this first half. Now third and 10, hit as he throws, Olsen has it. Good tackle made by Chris Cook as Olsen is short and shaken up on the play. It's not looking good as Greg is in a lot of pain right now, but hopefully it's nothing serious and we'll see if he can return today. The Panthers punt on fourth and one as Nortman's kick backs up the return man to the 15 and he's met by Devon Pruitt. Nice tackle there on special teams for the rookie safety. 49er ball less than seven minutes to go in the second quarter. A quick swing out to Frank Gore. Nice move on Woodson as Gore runs up to the 37 yard line close to a first down. It's a power running look on second and inches. Hands off Gore. Plenty of room outside. Nice block by Alex Boone. Shoved out by Roman Harper as Gore gets to the 44. Gore takes a break now in his place is Carlos Hyde who gets the carry and a good run here across the 30 for a pickup of eight. 4.30 to go in the second quarter. Gore back in, he carries right. More room outside as Gore races inside the 15 for a gain of 17. It's the 49ers third red zone trip. Kaepernick steps up, fires, and Anquan Bolden has the one-handed touchdown catch. Bolden beats third-year corner Melvin White. It wasn't a great throw from Kaepernick, but still Bolden makes the play. 17 to seven, can the Panthers answer on this drive? We're late into the first half as Cam off the fake, dumps it off, here's Lance Adams, a nice move as he works his way to the first down marker. Gates and Olsen line up alongside Lance Adams. On first and 10, Newton with a deep shot downfield and it's knocked away. Looking for Lance Adams in a one on two situation. Receivers line up tight on second and 10 and Cam goes down almost immediately. Alden Smith on the sack. Just too much pressure, we keep going backwards. Third and 17, Cam with a deep shot. One on one down the field and it's almost picked off by Chris Cook who was step for step with Kelvin Benjamin down the field. The Panthers cannot answer, now the 49ers have some more time. Kaepernick facing pressure, dumps it off, here's Crabtree who is brought down immediately, but a flag is down. It looks like a face mask call on Melvin White as a gain of about three or four is gonna turn into a big first down. Now at the 43 yard line, it's second down. Kaepernick taking off, he's got some room across the 50 and wrapped up by Keekly, but it's another 49er first down. Still a minute 18 to go in the second quarter and Kaepernick fires a laser outside, there's Crabtree and he's close to the marker but came up short. Three wide shotgun on second and inches. Panthers can't get pressure and Kaepernick fires down the middle. There's a first down to Anquan Bolden. We haven't done much to slow down this offense. To the air again, Kaepernick hits, but a wide open man, Denario Alexander. Another first down for San Francisco. They've been marching right down the field. On first and goal, Kaepernick takes off and runs right in the K-1 short. That was a much needed play by the defense. Now can they make a play on third and goal? Kaepernick dumps it off, and he's wrapped up at the four yard line, so the Panthers do hold. But it's still a 20 to seven game as we go into halftime. We need to do a better job of slowing down the 49er offense and protecting Cam Newton so we can move the football in the second half. 
The 49ers were in control for much of the first half. Look at their yards per play. 7.8 yards per play. We have not slowed down their pass game or their running game. Can we slow them down here in the second half? As Gore opens with a broken tackle, gets past Addison and breaks another. Tough earned gain of five here for Gore. From a three wide shotgun on second and five. O-line doing a great job and now Kaepernick takes off and he's sacked. Charles Johnson brings him down. The defense has forced third and ten. Now can they get off the field? Kaepernick can't find a running lane, but he finds a wide open man downfield instead. And Quan Bolden for a first down to the 50. This is a very good O-line and they've kept Kaepernick clean. They've also opened up a lot of running lanes for Frank Gore who runs up the middle and a gain of 15. Gore nears 100 on the date, but now it's Carlos Hyde. Big hole up the middle, broken tackle and still going. Touchdown, Carlos Hyde. The Niners lead is extended on this terrific run by Hyde who had a lot of space and AJ Klein could not bring him down. The offense is still on the field as they'll go for two. Kaepernick from under center, pass is complete. Two point conversion good to Alexander. Things are not looking good for Carolina's defense. The offense has to find a way to keep us in the game as Williams can't find any space on this carry. Offset eye on second and 10. Cam with time and it's a deep shot. Lance Adams has it inside the 10. Touchdown Carolina. We protect Cam and look what happens. Lance Adams gets deep and burns the defense for a much needed touchdown. Making this a game needs to be a team effort. We have to step up on defense. Gore on the carry and a good job here rallying to the football. They love to spread the field and now Kaepernick will throw. Hit as he passes and it's caught for a first down by Michael Crabtree. Very efficient game so far for Kaepernick. Gore carries on second down and there's Luke Keekley. Again we force the Niners into a long third down. Can we get the stop this time? Panthers rush four, they can't get pressure. And Kaepernick just dumps it off across the field and nowhere close to the marker. So the defense does their job. Now what will the offense put together? Three wide set and Cam from under center. Throws over the middle and this is incomplete for Lance Adams. And that's a catch he needs to make. Third and 11 with two tight ends. Cam outside and Adams didn't drop this one. First down Carolina to the 41 yard line. Despite a lot of pressure, Cam has some good numbers today. 234 and two scores. Stewart on the carry and bottled up. It's been two straight weeks with no running game. Again in the tough position, third and 12 and Cam is hit. Incomplete once again, the Niners have been aggressive today with the play calling. Adams had created separation just as Cam was hit. The Niners get the ball back, 418 to go on the third as Gore bottled up on the outside, this time by Thomas Davis. Three wide plus a tight end on second to Nate. Deep drop for Kaepernick. Dump set off. Here's McDonald on the catch. Good tackle by Melvin White. Setting up a third and short. They bring in two tight ends and give it to Gore. Up the middle. First down 49ers on a gain of seven. Gore still in the game along with Carlos Hyde on this snap. It's Gore on the outside. More space as he runs down to the 49. Gain of six. Gore takes a breather and Carlos Hyde is alone back. A counter play left as he sheds the tackle from Coney Ely and then wrapped up by Luke Keekley. This offset single back look once again as Gore checks back into the game and he finds a lane. Gore across the 25. Another strong run as the Niners continue to dominate in the running game. Bruce Miller back in the game. It's an offset eye. Play action for Kaepernick and he sees some daylight. Kaepernick inside the 10. He takes off for an easy touchdown. 23 yards and not a tackler in sight. The Panthers played man coverage and the Niners sent everybody across the field to the other side. This left nothing but open space for Colin Kaepernick. And again we have a three score game. The Panthers cannot waste any more possessions. It's the fourth quarter. Quick throw outside. Here's Lance Adams on the catch. Little gain of five here in the first down. From the 31 yard line, a run from the shotgun as Williams gets the carry and runs outside for a gain of five. Wouldn't expect too many more runs, however. These third downs late in the game are critical and Cam is hit. Hit again as he stays on his feet with just too much pressure. Cam was pressured immediately again. Amini Solatolu is not playing very well. 
The receivers are getting open, but the O-line just can't protect. I'd expect a lot more running from San Francisco here in the fourth quarter, and indeed they open with a run. Here is Gore wrapped up by Luke Keekley. Gain of three. From an offset pistol look, now it's Carlos Hyde. Two Panthers in front, and he can't get by them. Brought down again by Keekley and Ben Wickery. Can they get off the field here? Gore running left, and he gets a block on the outside of the bad angle by Trey Boston. Fighting with A.J. Klein down the field. A big gain again for Frank Gore. Trey Boston should have made that play. Instead, first down, and now Carlos Hyde broke another tackle as he gashes this defense for a gain of 18. Nothing but wide open lanes all day. Now it's Gore from the eye, up the middle, and inside the three. It's a first down to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one. And Kaepernick, play action, fires outside. Touchdown, Vance McDonald. His second touchdown on the day. Now we are looking at a four-score game as the Panthers are getting blown out. I think we know very well why this team is undefeated. Down by four scores. Cam can't find Lance Adams as that was knocked down by Antoine Bethay. Three wide on second and ten. Cam stepping up, still on his feet. Now running out of the pocket and can't get the throw away. Sacked by Darius Butler. Another very long third down and the Panthers want a screen. Dumped off here to D'Angelo Williams who breaks a tackle and then is wrapped up across the 15 yard line. The Panthers have not been going for it with long fourth downs backed up in their own territory. So the 49ers have it again and Frank Gore continues what he's done all day crossing the 200 yard mark. Now Carlos Hyde's back in the game, a great one-two punch, and he is close to another first down. A lot of backups are now in the game as this defense is gassed. Hyde outside, gets past the linebacker, that was Roderick Moody, and then spun down at the 20-yard line by Bob Butler. Just an embarrassing display of run defense as Hyde now to the outside, met by Devon Pruitt, and is able to keep Hyde from reaching the 100-yard mark. On second and 15, Gore on the carry to the outside and runs across the 20-yard line down to the 15. Facing a third down, Gore up the middle. Nice stop there by Roman Harper. Gain of one and we finally force a fourth down. There hasn't been many positives for Carolina in this game. 45 to 14 and now a return for Carlton Sanders. The speedy receiver outside can't get to the 20-yard line. And the offense will come back out. The backups are now in the game. Taj Boyd at quarterback. And off Fozzie Whitaker and just like Williams and Stewart before him, nowhere to go. Inside two minutes, it's third and eight. Boyd stepping up. And Boyd trying to escape. He won't. Taj Boyd thrown down inside the 10. And that'll just about end it. The 49ers in dominant fashion today knock off the Carolina Panthers. 45 to 14. It's the Panthers' second straight loss as two longtime vets, Charles Woodson and Frank Gordon, meet at midfield. But the 49ers today just could not be stopped. The running game really picked up in that second half, and I think some of that had to do with how much time they were spending on the field. We didn't really establish many drives on offense, and even our second touchdown drive in the second half was only a couple plays. It was on a long ball of Lance Adams. So the defense got gassed, and by the end, I wasn't even putting in backups. It was just the backups were in because everybody else was tired. Outside of Luke Keekley, it was a very disappointing day for most players on our defense. One of our only positives came on offense with Lance Adams having a good day. Again, he beat the defense deep for a touchdown, but also mixed in some other catches in the intermediate game. Overall, it was another game with a lot of pressure given up by the O-line. They did not create many running lanes, and it was a tough day for Cam to try to get this pass offense going. You couple that with being dominated on defense by the running game and an efficient day by Colin Kaepernick, there wasn't much we could do. We just got outplayed. Now, before we look ahead to next week, we have a contract offer here for Luke Keekley. He's obviously one of the most important players on this team, and we have quite a few free agents this year. None bigger than Luke, but I'd like to sign a few before the end of the year. And we have re-signed Luke Keekley, six years, $62.4 million, which makes him the highest paid inside linebacker on a money-per-year basis. It's a much-deserved contract for the most important player on our defense. Now we will look ahead to next week as the Panthers are riding a two-game losing streak and face the 3-3 three three Houston Texans. 
Now, this is another team that likes to run the football. They do it very well, and they're also very good at rushing the quarterback. Arian Foster, J.J. Watt, and Jadavian Clowney are the three guys that worry me the most for next week's game. Their offense still features Ryan Fitzpatrick as a starting quarterback who is off to a good start this season. We will see if the Panthers can end this losing streak at 2 and get back to their winning ways as they began the year 4-0 and and now find themselves at 4-2. and I knew this part of our schedule would be more difficult than our first four games, and now we have to make some necessary improvements. That is it for week 7. Thank you guys for watching the video. A very tough, disappointing loss as the Panthers get blown out by San Francisco. But I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you when the Panthers look to avenge this loss against the Houston Texans. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in week 8. Have a great day.